Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben and it's time for another stock market analysis update and stocks to watch list. So next Monday, July 4th, the market will be closed, which means that we are going to have a three day weekend. I'm expecting a sell off on the NQ by the end of Friday. Could be wrong, but I just don't see a lot of money coming in and trying to hold over that three day weekend. And at the moment, the NQ on the 15 minute chart has just made a double top here, that McDonald's M shape and is starting to come down and test this 11.5, been testing it all day. Now the 11.5 cracks, things are going to get ugly as I've been saying. And on this daily chart, if we see the NQ get down below this low of 11,068, then we are going to probably see a drop down to 10,000. There's nothing bullish going on in the economy or the stock market or anything. In fact, there's been lots of bad news. However, because of the Roe v. Wade decision by the Supreme Court, we have been seeing some action in some contraceptive stocks. So I am currently in EVFM, just a little 80 shares after the Roe v. Wade decision. You see it's been popping up, got all the way to 150. Saw it today bouncing off the trend line. Nice strength there. And I got in in this consolidation 80 shares at 109, just looking for a pop-up to that 150, maybe a test of $2 uh, by the end of the day or tomorrow, unless it gets rejected and it cannot hold a dollar support. And if that's the case, I will be out. As I said before, I don't plan on swinging anything over this weekend with it being that holiday weekend. We also had the Biden administration raise the cost of Medicare. So we are seeing pops in a lot of the therapeutic stocks. I expect pops in the health insurance stocks. You should be getting tons of calls right now about Medicare on your phone, probably annoying the piss out of you. Well, that is because they are trying to get as much money as they can. So we could see some action come into those. Definitely seeing it in the therapeutic stocks, the medical stocks intraday. NRSN having a big spike this morning in pre-market little ways before the bell from three dollars all the way up to 483 let's pull back and started making this u shape just about uh, back up to that 450 for a test so what i've been mainly looking for is stocks that are showing some action but are having pullbacks we're in a down market the nasdaq is going down just about every week it's all support lines price areas where a lot of buyers will be at normally are going to be weak, less buyers, and resistance lines where all the sellers are usually sitting, those are going to be very strong. So if you're buying into resistance, trying to get breakouts, your probabilities right now are not going to be very good for those breakouts. But if you're buying these dips, or a perfect example on NSRN, with a double bottom here, almost really a triple bottom, but bottom, bottom, could call that the triple, but I would just say double bottom after the big rip and now get in that nice uptrend. So you wait for that double bottom off of the pullback. You know, that's a move from 380, 375, maybe somewhere you got a good entry and it goes up to 450 so far. Now this may be a play to keep on watch as it did gap up over all EMAs. Now, it, it is a ways away from the EMA, so I would expect some type of little pullback. But last time I did rip, it went from $2 to $8 in one day. So we know it's very low float, 11 million shares, one that can get feisty. So Siga, one of the monkeypox stocks. This one having a bounce off of this uptrend on the daily. I'm going to remove these previous lines from that channel that broke there. Going from about 1070 up to 12 so this thing is pretty much consolidating in one big triangle for a possible retest of that $15 from this previous jump. So one to keep on watch. But again, you don't want to be buying at the top. We have a perfect little triple bottom here. In the range, it does have room up to 13, but 13 is going to be pretty tough as that is the top of the downtrend. And then again, 15 as resistance. So PEV, the EV stock was not able to hold in this triangle so it has cracked the short-term uptrend 
and now we have this downtrend that it has to break over so I don't think this is done it is starting to try to hold up around that four dollar area today bouncing off of 450 all the way back up to 524 a rebreak of five dollars could be a bullish indicator of a possible triangle breakout on the daily gold has actually continued down its downtrend testing 1800 1800 cracks next support level for gold is 1750 but that has pulled a lot of the gold stocks back to me the cheaper the better for gold and silvers so i don't mind that pullback but we don't want to see any drastic pullbacks and see it below 1750 that could be an issue. NIO is still a play to keep on watch. Another EV stock uptrending nicely since May in this little channel here, making its way towards that $25 area, which is also the 200 day moving average. So getting a little confirmation bounce. This could be a day trade at any time, I believe, and it also could be a swing trade. This channel has been going on since May, so we do want to see it hold up right here at this $21 area to continue that upward momentum for that $25 break. Now cryptos are still pulling back some. The pullback so far has not been that dramatic from where they've been sitting. Seemingly a pullback to that previous low, but it is causing all the crypto stocks to have pullbacks as well. Coinbase down to $45. If it cracks below that previous candle low of $40.28, basically crack of $40, we could see it down even cheaper if the crypto market doesn't start to rebound. So cause the NQ is pulling back, you do have Amazon cracking that uptrend off of that $100 bounce, coming back down, testing 100, bouncing so far today, but with this bearish stock market and the holiday weekend, we could see it cheaper. It's really testing that $100 support, but right here this is looking like a pretty clear head and shoulders pattern shoulder here head here and another shoulder which probably means we may crack 100 that's usually a bearish sign and we'll see as it's still holding 100. oil did try to rebound got over 110 for a little bit but was rejected off there pretty hard making it a pretty clear crack of this previous channel so we're probably going to test 100 some more on oil and if oil holds 100, then it's going to go up more than likely. If inflation is going to continue to go up, then so will oil. But we'll see what happens there. A lot of, lot of indecision in all the markets right at the moment, as not one single market is really particularly looking favorable or strong at the moment. To me, cryptos look pretty good because they are a whole lot cheaper. They've already crashed quite a bit, but there is concern of maybe another leg down so even there still a lot of sketchiness intraday day trading you're scalping you're getting in getting out getting your moves on those uptrends or those off of those double bottoms u shapes however you're trading as long as you're in the green that's all that matters if you're having trouble in this market feel free to reach out to us in the framework fortune discord link in the description below Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.